Okay, hi everyone. Uh, testing out the new camera setup here for the videos. Uh, my name is Bigfoot, and we're going to do some cartoon drawing. Um, this is a very famous character. Um, the youngest of the kiddos drawing this may not recognize this character, but the tweens and teens might, and certainly any adults uh, that are drawing this will, um, will recognize this character. So let's start uh, drawing very, very lightly with your pencil. We're going to do a dashed line down the center, and we'll crisscross that line just for placement of these shapes. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus just above the dashed line here, and we're going to create a triangle shape. And notice how I'm holding my pencil uh, to the side, so I'm not pushing on it. I'm just sketching uh, really, really lightly. So very, very important. We're going to create a wire frame, which is basic shapes and lines. So we're just going to add some ovals. We're going to add some larger ovals towards the center. Uh, we're going to put another triangle. Now this might be coming into uh, view or uh, memory for you guys. So let's do another triangle going up. So it's kind of like a diamond shape formed by two triangles. And then we're gonna do kind of these two lines or this line angled, and it'll come up like that. Okay, so anybody recognize this yet? You might be, uh, you might be seeing it already, but this is called a wireframe. It is the basic lines and shapes that uh, professional artists will use to map out the drawing. We're not actually drawing yet, really. We're just putting basic shapes down to map out our character. So two things that this does is kind of allows us to see it before we start. And maybe more importantly, if you've ever started a drawing and it accidentally went off the edge of the paper, this technique will, um, will make that go away. It'll never happen again because you uh, are placing your character on the paper first. So we'll proceed with this wireframe and we'll start to detail uh, the character on top of this because to me, this is looking about right. So I'm gonna start with the eyes here and I want to utilize these ovals, but what I want is I want a little bit of space in between them. Okay, so I've got this. And then I'm gonna sort of cut in a little eyelid, an eyelash, by putting that line across those ovals. Then we'll bring the pupil in. This should really start to come into view now for those of you that have seen this character before. I'll add a shine mark in there and shade this in. Shine mark to Make that pupil really come to life. Now I feel like this character's with me. Character and I are together, sort of creating him on paper. Okay, so there's the eyes. Uh, we're gonna use this as the snout for this character. And then we're gonna utilize the bottom triangle here for his nose, okay? Now, uh, just to add some contrast, we'll shade that in. Just quickly, we might do that later with a Sharpie or an inking pen of some sort. Um, so we have this character kind of coming together here centrally, the eyes, the nose, and we're gonna do a line down uh, from the nose, short line down to this bent line, which will create the mouth. So we wanna go outside of that initial rectangle, excuse me, triangle, outside of it, see how the lines extend outside of it just a little bit? And then they kind of curve up like this. Kind of curve up like this, okay? And yes, this is the Pink Panther. Uh, so here we have uh, the mouth um, sort of as symmetrical as you can. Uh, mine's a, a shade off, but I'm not too concerned about that right now. And then I'm just going to use the bottom of the triangle here for his bottom jaw. 
right underneath there like that, okay? Now, uh, kind of a somber looking dude, mellow, maybe bored or lazy. Uh, what we can do to help this is add a little bit of emotion. And the way that they uh, did this when they were designing uh, this particular angle on the Black Panther, or excuse me, the Pink Panther, is to bring the mouth up from here. Okay, so short line on either side, and then the cheek, creating a smile. Okay, so this is how we work a smile into it. And now he's looking a little more content, still a little bit lazy, uh, not super excited, but obviously a little bit more content, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to work on uh, these items over here, curving over just a short amount there, just a little bit of curve. And then what we want these ears to do is kind of taper towards the bottom, okay? So we're using the wireframe, but we're sort of changing it, okay? So we've got the ears tapering, and uh, we have an inside sort of teardrop shape uh, upside down water drop teardrop type shape inside of that and then uh, real simple to finish off we're just going to look at the line that's remaining but we're going to create a little bit of cheek so that's going to bump out just a little bit more than what we had okay so now we have a really nice front view of the pink panther and what we're going to do really to finish off the build or the, the design or the drawing of this is to uh, incorporate one of my f most favorite things about cartooning, which is uh, bringing those eyebrows right off of the character. They don't even need to be um, connected, which is awesome. So we can just bring some uh, emotion, some exclamation uh, outside off of the face shade those in a little bit just to um, add to the fun and cartoon nature of this drawing, okay? So here is the Pink Panther taken from, um, from uh, wireframe phase with the basic shapes and lines sketched really lightly. And then I just, using a pencil, pressed a little bit harder to uh, add the details to make the character come into view. Okay, so now what you would do to sort of finish this off would be to uh, probably trace it with a Sharpie and just trace the lines that you added after the uh, wireframe. And then once you have it inked in or Sharpied, you can go ahead and use a big eraser to erase out your, um, your pencil uh, sketch, the wireframe part, and it'll look nice and finished. And um, I'll show you that in just a moment and you can get started. Okay, and here is my Pink Panther with a uh, Sharpie uh, inking overdraw. I just uh, Sharpied all the lines that I liked, and then I went through with a large eraser, and I just uh, erased the lines that I didn't need or want anymore from the original sketch. So really nice, clean way to finish up your drawing uh, right over the top of the sketch and you can just erase out right over those um, Sharpie or inking uh, lines. So we're gonna color this up quickly and show you the final result of this Pink Panther drawing. And finally, the end result of uh, our Pink Panther all colored up. Uh, I do like to add a little bit of a light source when I'm doing my color. I don't always draw this in, but I first thing I do is sort of think about where the light would be coming from. Uh, I use two colors uh, to create the Pink Panther, sort of a lighter pink and a darker pink color, and then just kind of colored the whole thing with the lighter pink and then went back through with a little more pressure and the darker pink color to uh, do some shading and make it look a little bit more 3D. So that's a sketch to color up on the Pink Panther. I uh, would love to see uh, your drawings, your Pink Panthers, your coloring, uh, your cat character, whatever you can come up with. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, draw those and uh, email them over to tuneme at bigfootgraphics.com. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.